about one of the first at-home testing kits now available for COVID-19. Kroger got emergency author authorization to make it available, but it, it's not available directly to consumers. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains why. It comes in a box like this and can be directly shipped to your door within 48 hours. Anyone can get it through the website of the little clinic, which is part of the national grocer, Kroger. All you have to do is put in your symptoms of COVID-19 on this website, but you'll notice. We are not selling it direct to consumer, but we are selling it to businesses and organizations and government agencies that have large populations of patients at risk or that have experienced infection. And then they can sign up with Kroger and then give access to their members or their employees to go to the site and get the test. Kroger's Jim Kirby told me they are working to make it available to those who don't have an employer through government agencies at no charge to you. In the meantime, while the test uses the same kind of swab you would get at a drive through testing site, two things make it unique. The first... What Kroger's doing is they're doing video telemedicine, so they're actually going to watch you swab yourself at home, so you're going to have a medical professional involved in that. I think that has a... Uh, a big, big role in making sure that, you know, we get the best results we can and the best uh, samples we can. That means when those samples get to Tony Remington's National Testing Lab, Gravity Diagnostics, for analysis, it brings us to the second thing about this test that makes it unique. The higher probability of accurate results, because that test you send from home is analyzed in the same lab where thousands of drive through tests are also sent. We use something called PCR technology uh, with Thermo Fisher. It's done in our laboratory. You know, these are multi, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. It's a lot different than a finger prick or some sort of drive through in, in, in the backyard, so to speak. Because this test is now under emergency authorization use, accuracy will be closely monitored. Our sensitivity level is so high that the probability of a, a, a false uh, result is really low. If that low rate proves certain as thousands get tested at home, it could be a real game changer in testing, keeping people at home until they find out results. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus reporting.